package that we just witnessed. It tells you all you need to know when it comes to the motivation of this man, the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. It was last week, Kurt specifically asked our general manager, Hulk Hogan, for a handicap match against what he called the two punks that he personally took under his wing, that he mentored, and the two punks that screwed him by joining aces well, and eights. Well, I disagree with you, Mike, today. I don't think that video package showed anything. Okay, that video package did just what you do and this guy Todd does, and, that's and, what? and spread the propaganda that TNA wants you to spread. That's what that video package showed me. Bell sounds, and here we go. Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist, revenge on his mind. And I can tell you that Kurt Angle still stinging from the lockdown loss last month to West Briscoe inside the steel cage. Kurt called it a fluke because when we talk today, he's still upset that it was D'Lo Brown's interference that cost him that match. Oh. And now opportunity for payback and revenge, as you mentioned, Todd, and starting off against the same West Briscoe. Well, if I could just say one thing, you could just sense that Kurt Angle... Look, he's not only he's just taking advantage of someone that's a newer, younger wrestler, but the thing is that... Advantage. Oh, hold on, let me finish, please, Mike. I'm a little talking. But Kurt Angle also is an egomaniac. Last week, he challenged two men, handicap match, begging for it or whatever. Egomaniac. That's an egomaniac, man. You it's nonsense is what it is, Taz. You're spreading nonsense. Yeah, that's my opinion. What do you mean? That's my opinion. He's an egomaniac. He's out to prove something against these two punks that turned on him. Look at Garrett Bischoff. Mind this business on the apron. Wait for his part in the tent. No, Todd, don't tell me to stop talking. And then, and then Kurt Angle goes over and hits the kid. What's that about? Now, Todd, you can talk. Well, and I, I call it confidence as well. The numbers game, maybe. But these two have to tag in and out. Yes. Russia, we got a fair match here. Fans, we remind you to keep up with TNA President Dixie Carter through social media. So much going on here at Impact Wrestling. And she's got the scoop week in, week out. Angle with a nice suplex there. How, how is this a fair match? How is this a fair match, guys? Now, let's be honest here. Kurt Angle called for the match. They gave him the match. And it's the match Kurt wanted. So let's give Kurt everything he wants. He's a 13-time world champion. How are these two young men going to compete against a 13-time world champion? That's a great question, Ted. And a gold medalist. Yep. Toss take over there by Kurt Angle. Look at the confidence. Making it look easy so far, Mike. Well, you can see that Kurt Angle is just zoned in against Briscoe and Bischoff in the handicap match. And now it's payback time for Garrett Bischoff. And I'm making that point to see if one of you talking heads have an opinion also. Todd, I don't expect that out of you, but Mike, I do. Now, Mike, I do, do you what think... What point are you going to repeat? Well, no, what I'm just saying is, I mean, I'm not trying to be confrontational. I just feel oh, like... Oh, no, that's no, never you. No, no, I just feel like Kurt Angle is taking advantage here. It's nonsense. It's Kurt Angle proving what he has accomplished through the years is so important, especially against these two. Yeah, I agree. Kurt Angle is taking advantage. He did control the match and returns after this. Welcome back, everyone, to Impact Wrestling Handicap Matchup. And Kurt Angle has been in control from the opening bell. Well, he has. He definitely has. Oh! Well, that's a momentum changer. Sure is. The referee was checking on Garrett Bischoff, and well... Sometimes accidents happen. Yeah, accident. Blatant, illegal, low blow from West Briscoe. Can't and that him. opens the door for Garrett Bischoff to take over on the offense. How do you blame Garrett Bischoff? I'm sorry, how do you blame West Briscoe for doing what he did? He needed to change the tide in the match. Pointing out Kurt, that he did something illegal with the low Kurt, blow. Kurt Angle is a cyborg, correct? Kurt Angle's a machine. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He's a 13-time world champion. He's a household name. He's a veteran. He's a legend. He's a two well, for, young man. For once, you're speaking the truth. Well, I am speaking the truth. I've competed against Kurt Angle. Shut Anyone up. else at this desk has it. So let me speak about Go. Kurt Angle. You're the one that's talking. Don't stop. I'm just telling you that these two men in Aces and Eights are still trying to get their teeth into the game. And Kurt Angle got this match. Into the cover now goes well, Bishop. Maybe these two should have worried about that before they turned on Kurt. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, it could be some truth to that. I, I get your point on that. Touche, Mike. Touche. Thank you. Yeah, you reap what you sow. But they're taking control of the matchup now. A different story after that low Ooh. blow. And a big clothesline there by Briscoe, who is powerful. He is explosive. He's got worlds of potential. But does he have enough to get it done? 
done in this matchup. He's stolen a couple victories, as you documented, Mike, over the Olympic gold medal. Yeah, that low blow, it really was the, to this point in the match, the game changer as the complexion just totally shifts in favor of the two-man aces and eights team of Frisco so, and, and, and Bischoff. So anything that, that Bischoff and Ooh. Frisco do that's illegal, they're bad guys, they're bad guys, they're bad guys. But Kurt Angle, Mr. Angel, Captain America, Watch this. Captain America does nothing wrong. The cyborg, right? The killing machine, Kurt Angle. He's an angel. I got it. He asks for a match. He winds and fries and gets his match. That's the problem I have with this. And so do my brothers and aces and aces. We got a problem with this. Yeah, you mentioned propaganda, Taz. Yeah. When well, you mentioned it was an illegal move to turn the tide in the matchup. Yeah, they're taking control. They're looking good as a team right now, but they broke the rules to get there. And the cyborg's got a little something to say with it. Counter suplex there. I have nothing negative to say about Kurt Angle's ability and what he's done in this industry. I actually respect that of the man. But the way he does not help the younger wrestlers, I have a real problem with He that. took these guys under his wing. He mentored them for months. He taught them. He trained them. And now they've got to deal with it. And they leached off of his knowledge. They stabbed him in the back tonight. Perhaps they pay the price. Here comes Angle again. He runs boy. right into a boot. Good job, Briscoe. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh. Big time throw there by Angle. Watch out, watch out. Garrett, no. German oh. from this side. Angle on fire here. Yeah, he's a cyborg, all right. And he's fully functional here. He is on fire. Still got the grip. Briscoe for the ride again. Mm. Got to get some risk control there. Come yeah. on, Wes. Oh, look out. He's trying to stop the suplex by holding his own partner. What the hell's the roof doing? Oh, oh my God! Two for the price of one. We gotta see that again. Yeah, well, we'll take a look here. It was a double German suplex. Extremely impressive. Thanks to the ref. And now an angle slam. Pin on the ring. This is gonna do it. No. Referee's gotta get one of these guys out of there. They're supposed to tag in and out. Oh, the ref can't help Kurt anymore. He can't help. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. now, now our boys got some help now. Now it's an even fight. See? Now Wes and Garrett, now they got some back. Not bad enough that it's two on one in a oh. handicap match. Oh. Now you've got aces and it's a oh. right, but he's got the ankle lock. Help him. Somebody's going to help him. Good job, VP. Good job. No, not again. Piss off. Oh, no, that chain What a shot. And think of the history of neck problems by Angle. Ridiculous. Your winners, Garrett Bischoff and Wes Briscoe. Yeah, they never walk alone, do they? All about the numbers game when it comes to aces and eights, and that's what they exploit against Kurt well, Angle. Like I said throughout the whole match, these two young men did the this match. They were called out, pumped out, and gave up a plethora of experience to Kurt Angle. So the VP and the rest of Ace's things had to come out loving the play field a little bit. Boy, the eyes really glassy there in the Olympic gold medals. He was just knocked cold with that chain. Another disgusting stolen victory over Kurt Angle. Makes me sick. Now what? Well, if you're sick, get up and go do something about it, tough guy. Here, yeah, watch. Oh! Some more going on here. Kurt Angle. Angle oh. splattered with the power bomb. ago hadn't been seen since your hero Jeff Hardy was decimated and your Olympic gold medalist lies in shambles oh. let me tell you something if you Tonight, you in a bad freaking way. Oh, oh wait. One more thing. Hey, AJ Styles, we're rooting for you, buddy.
That's how it's done. Looks like the cyborg needs some new batteries. <laughs> Get it, batteries? <laughs> Another vulgar display of power by Aces and Eights. They have taken control over this program, over this company. They're riding roughshod, and they've stolen another, another victory from Kurt Angle. It's disgusting.